the big update is Dak Prescott. He uh, spoke to the media a little bit yesterday and kind of gave us a uh, update on sort of what's going on between he and the Cowboys in the contract situation. I'm blessed to, uh, to be able to do that, to have a family, um, girlfriend that, that takes care of the home, takes care of the, the, the business that we need, um, people in place that takes care of the contract, those talks, those negotiations. Um, and, and that allowed me to, when I'm here, when I'm in the camp hours, I'm as focused can be on whatever it needs, whether it's the team, the locker room, uh, maybe it's something the coaches need, or it's just me out there on the field trying to become the player that I, I want to be and uh, continuing to grow and getting better. That um, I think that's what allows it to be easy for me as I have such good people around me. Good conversations are going, I will say that. Uh, call it negotiations, whatever, conversations. Um, a lot of good things are going going on there. Uh, so, so a lot of confidence. Once again, as we've, I said, anytime I feel like I've talked about it, I've got confidence in my guys. These guys getting something done. Um, yeah. The longest tenured quarterback with one team currently in the NFL, Dak That's Prescott. True. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. This will be his ninth year as the starting quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. No other quarterback in the NFL has been Whoa. with one team currently for nine years, by the way. Yes. So 2016 was his first 2016, year? 2016. I was at the game, by the way. When Romo got hurt? Uh, well, not when Romo got hurt. We oh, were just having this blast game, from yeah. the past. Yeah. You know, obviously, I do the Rams pregame, halftime, and postgame. And I was thinking about it last week because this is my ninth year. And the first home game was a preseason game, but it was Dak's first start at quarterback. Remember, it was preseason week number two or three at the time. Remember, Romo got hurt. Then Kellen wins. I mean, Kellen Moore, Moore got hurt and had an ankle injury at practice. Oh, wow. And then they yeah. just threw Dak out there, the fourth round pick, like, hey, whatever. <laughs> and he played well in the preseason. And the rest is history. I mean, that was 2016. So nine years in the NFL. Wow. Think about it. There's with a game one against team. The Rams in particular, I remember he came on a preseason game. And that was like, that was it. Oh. That was the one. Yeah. Yeah. At the LA Coliseum, I was by at the way. That, game. that was yeah. the one. That was the first game the first back game for the Rams, back, right? Yeah. That was, was the like first game back in LA. People. It was amazing. Like you were there. Yeah, right? Isn't that the there. game you and I went there. to? Nah, yes. I didn't go there. Okay. It was, was amazing, but I, I did the pregame show outside in the pavilion. So we have at the end of the pregame show, you have about ten minutes to get to the press box. So get done with the show, put my headsets down. I'm walking from outside where the uh, where the where is it the uh, the the arc uh, of the L.A. Coliseum, the oh, opening side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's where the pregame show was. So I'm leaving from there to walk to the press box. Um, there was this big, huge roar before I got there. The opening kickoff was returned for a touchdown. <laughs> like the opening kickoff of football back in LA, wow. returned for a touchdown. And then Dak Prescott takes over at the quarterback position, his first start, and then the rest is history. Nine now seasons later, going into his ninth year, I should say, he is the longest tenured quarterback in the NFL. Crazy. And you think about it, he's been stable. He's been to a point that has given you Enough to where I feel like he is your quarterback moving forward. This will be his last contract as a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. I think that this is the one. Get it done and move on. I don't know what the holdup is. Is it because they're waiting for C.D. Lamb to sign? Is it trying to see if we can keep a little bit extra for Micah Parsons? I don't know what the case is. He says he's got his people working on it, and I get it. But this is a huge distraction for the Dallas Cowboys. If I'm a quarterback knowing that at the end of this year, I'm going to be a free agent, like that's – you start looking over your shoulder a little bit, fellas. Like I, yeah. I, I you like, oh, man, I don't – we've seen there's moments where something may happen in a game – Similar to, remember, Lamar Jackson. Remember the knee injury? Oh, Lamar not playing because he doesn't have a contract. I don't want to hear that all year long. Why didn't Dak dive on that fumble? Why, you know what? Why isn't Dak giving it his all? Why did he step out of bounds instead of lowering his shoulder to get one extra yard for a first down? That is upcoming if they don't get a contract deal done. And I always say, what's the better option next year? Like, the Cowboys are a really good football team. They're not going to be – Four wins, five wins, picking at the at the top of the draft. They're not. So, what's the better option at quarterback? I feel like Dak Prescott is a free agent. I would want that. 
I think that he's capable of getting you where you need to go. Just the expectations put on the Cowboys obviously are a lot different. But we'll see what happens. He's got his people working. We'll see what happens in the coming days as we get closer. Three weeks from today, we got a Friday game for the NFL. Woo. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.